Oh, that's a Greek festival. Wow, what a day that was. Did you get down at all for any of that? I did not. I went to the um, reenactment that was held oh, at the yeah, Maybe, Maybe Farm. Oh, Maybe Farm, yeah, the Revolutionary War reenactment. I've been yeah. advertising that as well. I know. But right now, we want to find out how to get a job. Everybody seems to be looking for a job or a change. Where can they go? Well, right now, uh, we're promoting the Schenectady Job Fair, which takes place next Wednesday at Proctor's and Key Hall. It is from 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Uh, we have over 25 um, employers so far, and we usually get a few more after that, you know, after our deadline. Are these larger companies that... Um, well, we have Ford Attack, we have Rite Aid, we have um, Kingsway Community, we have the VNSA, mm -hmm. the Visiting Nurses of Schenectady and Saratoga County, the Visiting Nurses of Albany, uh, Nurse Connection, um, who else do we have? The United States Post Office, uh, Schenectady Community College, Schenectady Community Action Program. And, and one thing I noticed when I looked up the write-up is that they will help you with a resume. And yes. they will help you like know what to wear. I know someone in human services or human resources and she says, you cannot imagine how some of these people show no, you up can't. for a job. <laughs> you can't imagine. I could write a book. I could write a book on that. Uh, why, why are these people that really don't want a job? Why would you come with short shorts on and sandals and you know a nose ring or whatever it is? You know, uh, ripped jeans, things ripped like jeans. that. Well, those some are people, in style, some, <laughs> they may be in style. They're not appropriate. No, for you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, everything that's in style is not, <laughs> it's not appropriate. Is not appropriate. Some don't want a job. Actually, um, they come out and they they have to look according to. Uh, Department of Labor or Department of Social Services. But to get their unemployment. Yeah, but they don't want a job. But some of them just don't know. And so we're there to try to help them to um, dress appropriately. Um, we have members of the Capital Region Human Resource Association who come out and help with resume critique. And we do that all day. You bring in your resume, you talk to the person, they make suggestions. Um, think, resumes are different than they used to be. Yeah, you they're well, like one page and, and you, you don't put down what years you were in high school and all this right. stuff. Right, you never put down when you graduated from high school or college either. Even though they asked for it, you just leave it blank because that age, can, it's, it's age. age discrimination. And so you don't want to tell them when you graduated because, you know, in my case, it was 40 some odd years ago and they don't need to know that. That's not who I am. It's, you know, I have a lot of yeah, experience. The other thing I, I understand is that some people put a photograph, and they said that's the worst thing you can do is Absolutely. put a photograph on there. Absolutely. I, um, and I, not because you don't look good. It's just like, you why are you doing that? They don't that? need to see what you look like before you have the interview. Right. Um, I teach a class at SCAP, um, basically on how to apply, checking your spelling, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's very important. And so we have these job fairs to bring together the employers of our area plus um, people who are looking for jobs. Two weeks after Schenectady, we have another job fair in Saratoga, Saratoga right. which has some of the same vendors but some different vendors as well. And you could go to either one. Either one or both. Or both. Uh, there's lots of advantages to do going to Do they hire both. on the spot or do they just get you in um, for an interview? I don't think that we've had too many people hire on the spot. I think most of what happens is they'll set you up for an interview. They'll talk to you. They'll explain what they're looking for. Um, but we're excited. It's are they skilled or unskilled? Or are they trainable? I don't want to say trainable. That doesn't seem like the right word. But do they offer training is, what I guess, what I'm trying to say. Um, some probably do. Like Fortitech will probably train you to do what they want you to do. They're, okay. they're looking for production people. Um, many of the healthcare places are looking for RNs, LPNs, CNAs, medical assistants, uh, home health aides, um, things like that. So they should already come with training. However, everybody has their own culture, and so they have yeah, to exactly. train people to fit into their culture, to do CNA the way they do it, say mm -hmm. at Kingsway, versus the way they might do it at some, another right, place, right. or the way the person was taught to do it. But at least you have the basics. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if you're interested in a job, this is really 
a place to start anyway. Absolutely. And because they'll help you with your resume, tell you what to wear, how to, to if you really want a job now. Exactly. This is what this is all about. Exactly, if Not you really want a job. Not just playing, but you really want a job. Are these part-time jobs or full-time jobs? Both. Both. Full-time, part-time, per diem. Okay. Um, we have Schenectady uh, ARC looking for people. Um, Home Instead is looking for people. So there's, there's, there's a lot, for some reason, there's a lot of healthcare places, but there's a lot of places that aren't healthcare as well. Mm -hmm. And you're looking uh, for people of any age, of course. Absolutely. Because I think we tend to think as we get older, oh, you know, nobody's going to hire me. But no, they want the mature person a lot of time because they're the ones that are going to be there every day and, you know, they don't have a lot of, uh, you know, long nights of drinking or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But, you know. And we do have a website. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe we have a Facebook page yet, although okay. we may. Um, but our website is www.cjdg.org. Yeah, we put, that, we put that up there, I believe. Um, basically, it is an ongoing website. We have four job fairs a year. We did have five, so For there's For Capital probably... Job Development Group. Correct. Just so that you, you, if you hear the words sometimes, it, the letters mean more. You can go to Capital Job, capital job Development Group.org too, but it's easier to just put the initials up there. Yep, good. So if you want a job, you really want a job, this man is going to help you get one. And this is what it's all about because people say, oh, there's no jobs out there. There are jobs there are out jobs. there for people who really want to work Absolutely. and to present themselves properly when they apply. And there's a few colleges coming and business schools um, offering services so, too. So, so that you know that how you can get training, yep. right? And Absolutely. This is really great. This is a great opportunity. And if you want to go on September the 18th, it's in Schenectady, and if you want to go when? October 2nd. October 2nd, it's up in Saratoga. So if you're watching in the North Country, go up there and check it out. But you'll find a job. Believe me, there are jobs there if you really want to work.